Yeah. What do you think about what's behind you? I like it. Wait, so as you can see right over there, there's like three rings. It's actually called a henge. What, what is a henge? It's a henge. Uh, well, it's, it's leaves. It's like, it's like, <laughs> it's like some old monument that they made a long time ago and they called it a henge. And they used to use it for graveyards. Like a circle. And are there any other henges around at all? Yeah. Yes, there's one. There's stone yeah, henges. There's one in. There's one. There's one near Norwich. There's quite a lot. Wow. Yeah. Oh my I heard about the one near Norwich. <laughs> it's called Cotton Henge. So, yeah. so what else do you know about this place? It's over four thousand years old. Well, we think we think it's over four thousand years old, but we're, um, not sure. we're not sure. So basically, all we know is that. It could be it's over 4,000 years old. <laughs> and about to our knowledge, a henge was found on this site in the, in 1980 and 4,000 years old. Wow. And Harry, what do you think about this? I think that this is 4,000 years old and it was built around 2,000 BC. I think that is one of the most best parts of history which has been found during Rhodes. And that it's like really amazing to have here. Epic. <laughs> 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 I think this is amazing that we've just discovered it and we should definitely keep it, it's a part of history. I think that it is over a hundred metres in diameter. I think that we should not build over it because it's um because it's um history. Um, I'm just to our mayor. Okay. <laughs> so what do you think about this? I think it's really interesting um, and the archaeologists are in there doing a dig and um, it's interesting to see what they might find. But um, yeah, I think it's really cool. I hope, hopefully they were, let us have uh, access to have a look around and some of the schools and people like yourselves come up and have a good look. Um, but yeah, it's all a bit exciting at the moment, isn't it? And do you think we should keep this? Um, we Basically, we've got to wait to see what the archaeologists find and it, hopefully they find something really cool that's going to be worth keeping it open. Um, but yeah, we don't know yet what, what might be underneath, so we've got to let them do their job. And then when they find it, report back to us and then we can sort of take it from there, really. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, no, thank you. What do you think of this? I think it's really cool because like you have to go really far for history, but it's right there, so it's kind of cool. And I think we should definitely keep this because if we get rid of it, history's gone forever. So it'd be really bad. Um, we won't. We will find out a lot about this. More, maybe even more history about this. Mm. What do you think about this? <laughs> 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 um, I think we should keep the henge because if we get rid of it. Uh, I think we will destroy Rhodes forever. <laughs> what do you think about it? Um, I think it's good and I don't think we should build over it because many, many people probably haven't seen it before. I think that I think that's a really good historical landmark which, and it's one of the most impressive to be found in Rhodes <laughs> and that we should keep it as part, part of Rhodes history. If we study, if we keep on studying about it, we can find a lot out, so it's definitely worth keeping. I think that if we get rid of it, then some history of Rawns will be gone forever. What would you say to someone who wanted to destroy it? Um, I'd say no, because it's part of Rawns' history, and if it was gone and they built over it, history would be gone in Rawns forever. What would you say to someone if they were if they were going to knock it down? I would say don't because like once history's gone, you can't like get it back because it's like, gone forever. I'd say I'm definitely keep it. What? This is just well, a terrible idea again. because you're ruining history. We're gonna be free. If you were a builder, would you build over it? No, because it's history. We can't get rid of it. That would just be a really bad idea. Um, <coughs> It's cool and we shouldn't like bury it or anything because it's a part of history and history is history and yeah because well, you can't bury it because it's not going to be like there it's going to you need to keep it there forever I think it's um, cool because um, it's actually it's in Warns and Warns is quite a small like place and it it's history and so and history covers the place so I don't build over it. I think that no amount of money can make up for history because history is like in the past so you can't pay for history. <laughs> um, I think that we should keep it because um, 
they are three parts of history. If we just knock down history, what do we have for, what, to, what are we then? Nothing really. What do you think about it? I think it is an incredible historical landmark which we should not remove and that we should like build, build like a viewing area next to it for people to go and view, the, and view this awesome landmark. It's part of history. If you build a warehouse on it, it's gone forever. So we shouldn't really do this. I think that the Henge is a really awesome historical landmark, which we should keep to show what Rons really can be. And then, and then down this young man with his lovely hat. Is that school issue? He loves his hat, yeah. he loves his trilby. Go on then, yeah. Harry. Well, I think the, the scientists have said that it's about 4,000 years old. 4,000 years old. And then, look, looking up this way. And apparently, it's like the sun in for this to be uncovered on our grounds, if you like, um, as a school, we're trying to offer new opportunities to enrich the curriculum and give children real life experiences, and this is right on our doorstep. So, as soon as it was all happening in the middle of last week, you know, we thought what a great chance to, to get the children involved. Um, Rock Hill, to be fair to them, have been fantastic throughout the whole process. I spoke to them immediately um, when when it was all uncovered, or when it was we uncovered, if you like, um, and they've agreed to allow us to bring some children down here in a few weeks' time um, to have a look around the sites, but also they're going to send some archaeologists out to school in, in a week's time to, to meet with all the children, to come to an assembly, just to explore and explain, I guess, what the um, what's going on here and the significance of the find. Okay, so I mean, Luke, what do you know about this? You've lived here for a long time, haven't you? What do you know about this hen discovery over here? I mean, what do you think of this henge being, uh, well, re-uncovered, I suppose is the word? I think that the henge is amazing to find out, and we might find out more about this henge in the future or soon. Um, and That's fine. Brilliant, thank you. Right, oh yeah, check that out next, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah. yeah, just tell me what you think of this henge, really. Well, I think it's a good sign because, like, around it, because most henges are like burial sites, so we could find other stuff like old bodies and like artifacts buried, which have been buried as well. Okay, yes, what do you think of this henge? It's quite, it's amazing because it's just, we've got like a really small town and it's like bigger than you can find in it. Because we've all the kids and like, all the kids can like find like real new stuff that are like just buried in the ground. They'd be like amazed. Okay, yes, what do you think of this henge? I think it's really good and I don't think we should build over it because I think many many people probably haven't seen it before and we're probably the only one who have seen it and people from the four from the four like four thousand years ago they probably they're probably only the ones seeing it too. Okay, yes, I mean, just tell me, what do you think of this henge? I think it's really incredible to have such an amazing, like, historical landmark right on our doorstep and to be able to have something, like, historical nearby and be able to uncover history and past the like So what do you all think about being on camera? Awesome! What do you think? I think it was epic. I think it's a really awesome, once in a lifetime opportunity to really have this happen to you as a child. I think it's really cool being on TV for something so important to our town. 
I think it's an amazing opportunity to try and find out how they actually make the videos and it's amazing. It's just awesome that we managed to get on TV for something so extraordinary and it's just undescribable. I think it's really cool because it's like a one, like um, someone said, it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's good to be on TV because then you can see like how great you are on TV and how good you are at like acting and stuff. Being on telly is so exciting because you get to um, um, you get to turn into um, news reporters yourself. Bye. Bye.